Hello my friends, happy holidays 2020. This is Richard Quo, and I wanted to make a quick video. I know it's been a while. Uh, I just wanted to connect with you and let you know that I am still here and just want to send some positive vibes. Uh, so in this video, I want to talk a little bit more about 2020 and you know, 2020 has been a really challenging year for many of us. And um, I want to talk about a few things that I've learned this past year and I just want to be able to connect with you. And you know, if you ever need anything, just reach out to me, uh, email me, leave a message, and uh, I'll definitely do my best to reply back. All right. So let's talk a little bit about 2020, and I want to talk specifically about traumas. I want to talk about you know low self-esteem, the challenges that we go through. Um, as many of you know who have been following my channel for a while now, that uh, self-esteem, you know, depression has been a, a theme in my life in the past, and uh, this year has really been, despite the challenges, has been rather uplifting. And one really big thing that I've learned this year that I want to share with you is that if you are someone who is struggling a lot internally with self-doubt, uh, self-esteem issues, uh, you know, uh, self-hate, you know, all those negative self-talk, everything like that, then this video is for you. All right. So really what i've learned this past year and especially more recently is that all those negative thoughts that we have towards ourselves that i'm not good enough i'm not capable i don't deserve this who am i to deserve this success i realize is uh it's it's called um they're learned behaviors okay so these are things that come from our past so what i've learned for myself recently is that all of my negativity that I felt in the uh, all the years that I've been alive have come from my childhood, have come from my parents, have come from my environment, and a lot of all of these traumas that I have are because of what's happened in my lifetime. You know, all the uh, subtle, you know, people putting me down in my life and making me feel like I'm not good enough. And I realized today that if you are someone who is feeling not good enough if you're someone who feels inadequate you know I'm not capable I don't deserve this then all of those thoughts are not true those thoughts come from our childhood those thoughts come from our parents and their beliefs that they're they themselves don't feel good enough and this past year I've had a lot of opportunities to really reflect upon this idea and understand that wow you know these negative thoughts, these challenges that I've been going through my whole entire life up until today are because of my childhood and all of those experiences that made me feel like I was not good enough. So what I'm trying to share with you is if you are someone who is struggling with this idea, I'm not good enough, know that they come from your childhood and that is not who you are. So if you are someone struggling with that, you know, it's something that we get to work on. And I've had the privilege of being in a wonderful relationship with my uh, partner Dominique and she's been absolutely incredible supportive and you know she's been a positive influence in the way always reminding me that I am worthy that I'm capable and you know sometimes it's difficult for us when we get stuck in these situations of what do we do when we feel like we're not good enough that we're not capable of you know whether it's getting good grades we're not capable of um, social aspect connect with other people we're not capable of getting a good good paying job all of these things are uh, insecurities that we have uh, if you have them and they can be improved and how we improve the, that part of us is that we just we need to learn to let go of those insecurities that we're not good enough I'm not capable and those are sometimes thoughts that we carry with us throughout our lives you know, for many, 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 many years. You know, we could carry it for five years, 10 years, 20, 30. Some people carry it for the whole entire lifetime because they're not either A, they're not aware that this is a belief that they are able to let go of, or they don't know how to let go of these beliefs because they hold on to them so tightly. And there's so many different tools. Uh, here are just a few tools. If you're looking to get rid of these negative beliefs of these traumas that we have these stories that we're not good enough uh, one is is affirmations you know affirmations 
instead of focusing on the negative, that I can't do it, I'm not capable, I'm not good enough, focus on saying positive things. I am capable, I'm, I am deserving, I'm capable, and I am, I deserve all of the success that I have in my, in my life. Um, I reflect back at my life and I realized that, you know, I've had a lot of success in my life, but I never really acknowledged my own successes. You know, I've connected with a lot of great human beings, millionaires, billionaires, uh, successful uh, public figures, things like that. But I've never really, you know, been like proud of myself because I've struggled so much with my self-esteem growing up. All right. So um, other tips, we talked about affirmations, other tips to, you know, to feel, um, to kind of get out of these traumas. I think it's really important to really, like with the affirmations, it's important to really soak in and embrace this idea that, you know, truly believing that, you know, we are capable, I am capable, I, Richard, am capable, you are capable of anything, you know, even if your grades aren't the best, even if the job that you have is not paying the most, whatever your situation is, know that that's temporary. Everything can improve. All right. Um, so again, uh, if you're watching this live or when this is released, it's the end of 2020. If you watch it later, that's fine too. Um, 2020 has definitely been a pretty crazy year for many of us, or most of us. And, um, you know, stay strong. If you're struggling uh, with whatever you're struggling with at, at your home or uh, in your relationships or personally, feel free to reach out. Um, I know I'm not su I have not been super active on uh, YouTube in a while, um, but shoot me an email and uh, I will respond. And I do apologize if um, I missed a few emails. Uh, but my email that you can uh, shoot me an email to is uh, Richard at RichardKuo.com. So Richard at RichardKuo.com. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, and I hope you're all doing well. Uh, and thank you so much for supporting me on this journey. And uh, one last thing, I have, uh, you know, as many of you know, I've been doing a lot of life coaching for the past six, seven years. And uh, I recently launched like a, a, a little side arm to my coaching business called Apex Coaching Group. And um, so I'm helping out individuals, uh, you know, whether you're a student, whether you're a business professional, wanting to overcome the challenges that you're going through and uh, create success in your life, uh, I am offering those services as well. Uh, you can go to apexcoachinggroup.com for more information there or just shoot me an email, uh, either richard at richardquo.com or apexcoachgroup at gmail.com. All right, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and uh, you know, let me know how I can best support you and I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for following me on this journey. Uh, sending lots of love and light to all of you. And let's uh, continue to support and one another and help each other on this journey of life. All right, take care, have a wonderful day. Happy holidays.